Uh, I am Arpan Gupta from BIT Mesra. And I am Pratik Goyal from IIT BHU Varanasi. Our project is NG Birdseye, a rule based access control system. Now, RBAC. RBAC stands for rule based access control. Rule based access control is a system designed for developing a dynamic generation of forms and applying custom validations to those dynamically generated forms. But the question arises why RBAC? The answer lies in the following key points. Firstly, to avoid writing even a single line of code. Then, to reduce the development time of software to a great extent. Then, minimizing the generation of errors. As we do not require a user to write any line of code, so generation of errors, be it logical or syntactical, it's very less. Last point is interface-based rapid software development. These are the key points behind the motivation of RBAC. Now let me tell you about the features of RBAC. Uh, dynamic form generation, then special custom validations, then multiple validations on single field, then rule sequencer for ordering of various rules, then formula builder for generating formulae, then validations on related tables, then creating user-defined constants. Now we'll explain you these features in detail. Dynamic form generation. The first feature of RBAC is dynamic form generation. Through RBAC, you can create dynamic forms. And uh, along with these dynamic form generation, uh, RBAC will automatically create tables for you in the database. Then provision for creation, updation, deletion, and these kind of viewing of these forms will, is already provided in the uh, RBAC system. Thus, the main point behind all of this is it's a code-free database management, code-free form generation. Now, Pratik will explain you the rest of the features. So, this is our main uh, area of concern, special validation. So, first of all, let me tell you what is the difference between standard and special validation. So, basically, standard validations are those validations which are generated by database by means like a particular field should be a varchar or integer. These are the standard valid validations. And the special validations are those which are generated on the fly based on a specific condition. Like a, if a user wants uh, entering a particular field, then based on that field, he can, he can use a particular value. Like if he's entering an age, then he can specify that age should be greater than 18. Then age greater than 18 will be the special validation applied to it. In this RBAC, we have included the various types of uh, validations, which are string, numeric, date, time, etc. And also, RBAC has a feature of multiple validations, like user can include two or more validations also. Next important topic is formula builder. The formula builder that we have built is used to create formula. And once the formula has been created, it gets stored in the database, and whenever the user is entering the form and it's and he clicks on that field automatically the field gets uh, automatically the value of that field uh, comes so like you can also calculate from this area total balance interest on loan etc and etc another feature in formula builder is constants user can define its own constant on own user defined constants and we have provided a simple ui for constant creation like uh, user can specify their value of pi 3.14 and it gets stored in the database and it's like a one time job so whenever constant uh, user wants to change the constant then automatically the formula gets uh, con changed next important feature is relation tables so we have included a feature that suppose Consider a case, if a user wants that a value should be validated from a set of related tables. So RBAC provides you the, this feature, like uh, um, in which the value has been fetched from, set, uh, from a different set of tables. Also, the special validations can also be validated through related tables. 
the formula builder which you have built can also uh, can also be computed from related table like we have no uh, we have the entities in formula builder so various entities can come from the set of related tables also multiple validation can also be applied in the relation databases next is the rule engine interface this is the ui of the rbse we have provided a single interface for both the creation of rules and formula so it is a, like an interactive interface for various related table like just you have to click on the table and its related table comes and so on so it's it's quite a user friendly so another case arises like we have a set of multiple validations on a particular field and user want to prioritize uh, some rules so we have a feature of rule sequencer in the rbsc in which user can reorder the rules and after the reordering uh, it gets saved into a database and and the rules are processed in that specified order only so these are the technologies which are involved in rbsc for the back end we have used php mysql and yf framework and for front end we have used javascript jquery ajax and html5 so now we we'll like to show us our demo now we'll show you firstly how dynamic forms can be generated through a rbsc system we'll click on create new form here we'll specify a name say student this is the form name now if we click on create a form will be generated and the table for it will also be generated in the database automatically now we don't have time to show you how these fields are generated we have already generated some forms and we'll show you how special validations work firstly we'll show you uh, this customer form let's open the customer form we have already created some fields for customer forms here it let's let's just focus on age field first we'll put some validations on age field uh we'll like to apply uh, validation like age should be greater than 18 and age should be less than 60 we'll first create these two rules and then we'll apply these rules on this particular column this is our rule table interface and uh, uh, we'll firstly create these rules here we'll specify the name of the rule that age should be greater than 18 greater than 18 now we'll select the category that's numeric we'll select the condition that is greater than and we'll select the value 18 now the rule has been created now we'll create another rule that we uh, propose that age should be less than 60 we'll again create text now these rules have been created now we have to apply these rules to the particular field that we have chosen that is the age field now we'll click on edit rule and we'll select the rules that we want to apply that is age greater than 18 and age less than 60 now if we apply these rules these rules have been set on this particular field now let's try to enter anything into the form firstly uh, write any name okay now write an age less than 18 now if we try to add this form i mean it will show age should be greater than 18 now write something greater than 60 now if we try to add it will show age should be less than 60 it will only accept if it is between 18 and 60 now it will accept now we'll focus on our relational table now we have already created relation between three tables we didn't have time to show you that how relations have can be created we'll show you these are three tables atm customer and bank customer is related to atm atm is related to bank firstly we'll show what fields we have created in bank bank open the bank table yes here we have created two fields savings balance and current balance and we have also put an entry into it uh savings balance for 1000 rupees and uh, current balance for 500 then uh, in atm also uh, there is a single field that's uh, account number 
this is relating uh, customer field uh, customer table to the bank table now what we'll do what do we exactly want we want that here in customer table uh, there are two fields uh, this pin number is the uh, field that is relating uh, customer table to the atm table now what we want total balance should get the value of savings balance plus current balance so it will calculate the formula from the relational table and uh, in for withdraw balance uh, we want that withdraw amount should be less than current balance so we'll apply these two uh, we'll firstly create these two rules and we'll apply those here now go to the rule table create rule table now we'll give any name like total balance we'll select the category that is formula we'll select the table customer custom down down custom above above custom yes now you can see the related table has automatically appeared we can click on it again the related table will appear it is a very user friendly ui that we have created and we'll select the uh, field we want now we'll add the field we'll select the operator we want click on plus yeah now we'll click on create and the particular uh, one, one second when you are doing this yeah. go back to that uh, column name yes please go, go to column name i want to select something else okay yeah you can do that uh, there only there only pratik go to the column name uh, down click on i'll click on ha uh, ah, wait wait yes doing plus no yes uh, created by actually uh, Okay, you can do that, but created by select created. Yeah. No, add it. Add it. Add operator is okay. Perfect point. Add it. Add it. Now create the rule. Now you want to apply this rule? You can go apply this rule to that. Yeah. Now apply this particular a uh, for uh, formula form. total balance yes now okay if you want that we'll try to enter into this field uh yes click on entry uh enter into the enter the values age put something between 18 and 60 now pin number 1 this is because this is related to the next table and we have created an entry for one now total balance you want that it should appear here it is appeared 1000 plus 1 is the created created by created by we have uh, the value is 1 and i have already created by value is 1 that is automatically generated that is just i am okay, so, so it is so it is field which is non non numeric non numeric what we have I done created by was non numeric what we have done we have tried to show you that what this kind of concept can this it. this kind of concept can be implemented you can create formulas you can create you know you can create uh, the formulas can be created from relational table as well not not only I, from the same I table my question is yes what will happen mm -hmm. if i select a non numeric field mm -hmm. and select a numeric operator what does your system do my system uh, will most probably not generate anything over here that's what i want to see not generate anything over here is acceptable what what is needed is are you when are you catching the error if any okay and how you are displaying the error to the user okay that is actually the broad question actually Because i i don't see you spay, uh, saying anything about error in the because our main focus on on concept now i mean we had to implement this formula builder we implemented it normally we used the normal static fields and we used it to the yeah, rela related but in table a formula level. builder we okay. used it to the related table i mean we extended it to the related table as well i mean i, I understand what you done yeah what i am saying is can i write an expression evaluator which will code dump okay mm -hmm. code dump is never acceptable mm -hmm. okay yes sir. since you have done so much work it is absolutely meaning essential according to me okay okay that i should not be allowed to give okay a non a numeric operation on a non numeric field definitely okay so you can either spot it during creation best okay say the field is not applicable definitely. if you don't spot it during creation or sorry i take it back 
even after spotting it during creation, you have to spot it during application. Okay, can I apply the rule? Even if you have failed in doing that, and even if you have done it, there should be an additional check. Okay, when at the time when the when something comes, you cannot code them when I start going to the table, re retrieve an entry, doing an add operation, and suddenly I get some stupid thing 404, 405, whatever on the screen. Okay. So what I wanted to point out is you have to do the checks three times. I'm not saying do it once. Okay. okay. Even if you are writing a piece of software which is written by you internally, okay, when you divide it into modules, you've got three things, specification, application, and execution. Okay. All of you have done the same thing. But still, as a part of module design, each module has to do error checking. Maybe it's duplicate, it doesn't matter. Okay. Because each module has to be reusable. If somebody else uses it, gives you wrong data, you will fail. Okay. The assumption that since I have done it, one system is taking input from second system, so the second system should not check the input is all wrong. Every system has to check its inputs. The standard yes. philosophy. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, now we'll show you another table that we have created, uh, area of figures. Let's go to the forms. No, if you are giving a special concept, it's okay. Okay. Because we are running out of time. Is there anything special you want to say in that concept you want to show? Uh, yeah, yeah these are, there, these are constant. We have covered most of it. Yeah, we have almost covered everything here. Just you want to show the constant. We'll just put an no, entry. No, that's okay. Constant is. Yeah, prioritization also we can do. We can do a rule sequencer through prioritization. We can prioritize the rules which rule you want to check first. That also can be done. This is here. We can show it to me. Okay. okay. Give an example. Uh, give an example. I mean, you can do like. When this feature which you are implemented mm -hmm. is usable in real life. Okay, I'll tell you a simple feature. Like, uh, you have been using your dim uh, image processing and everything. Like, you will be drawing your canvas. On canvas, you will be drawing your circle and all. So, firstly, you would like to check that the particular circle doesn't exceed that canvas width. I mean, it is coming in between that canvas. I am looking for an example where the order is important. Huh, I am telling uh -huh, you, correct. this is this is one rule that you will apply, that it should not exceed that canvas. Firstly, you need to check this. Then only your special validation would come, like a user wants that it should be greater than 5, the radius should be greater than 5 or something else. So, Wrong first, example. I can apply it simultaneously. No, you can apply simultaneously. But I, first, I can apply it in any order. It doesn't matter. No, definitely you will apply it in any order. But firstly, you will check now that if it is exceeding the canvas, that you don't need to check whether it is, you know, that user specified uh, validation is, you know, no, you don't you want are, to apply that user specified validation. You are saying, okay, yeah. you are giving mm. me an example where yeah. an order, okay, gives me an advantage in time. Yes. Give me an example where order is important. Okay. I will not do without it. Like, Consider like uh, girls competition is going on, mm. girls competition is going on, so an entry is coming, so first of all we have to validate and there are, there are two rules like it sh she should be female, one rule and another rule is that maybe the age should be greater than 18. So first of all we we… Again a wrong example, I can apply it in any order. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the reason I wanted to bring it out is doing features is important. No doubt about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But when you are developing at the bottom level, you should have an idea of applicability. Okay. You should have been able to answer this question. Okay. Actually, our main aim was to, you know, optimize the system. Like we have Basically, optimized. we are talking about, if you do it in Venn charts, mm -hmm. okay, there is an intersection. So, if, if I do it both ways, it, should, it will give me wrong result. What you are talking about is C app optimization. Okay. If you do this first, then this is not necessary. Okay. That is not the reason. There, there, may, there are cases where it will fail. All right. Good. I have got some other questions. Are you finished? Yeah, just want to show the sequence. No, no. That's okay. You are done. Very good job. People who work with me are... Uh, are aware. Okay. Whether you do a good job or not, I always will ask questions. Okay. One of the things which I have written is, huh, what will happen if I do a mistake in specs? Yes, sir. I do a mistake in specs. Uh, specs. Uh, uh, especially in crude, since you are giving crude. Yes. 
ओके शुड डिलीट बी पार्ट ऑफ इट आई मीन दिस इज फॉर सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट यूजर कैन यू नो एंड यू कैन इवन गिव राइट एज वेल वॉट काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेशन यू वॉन्ट टू गिव टू वॉट काइंड ऑफ यूजर दैट ऑल्सो कैन बी डन Yeah, so you can even specify what kind of uh, you know uh, rules you can, you what kind of uh, I mean access you want to give to what kind of user. So okay. this is this can be done definitely. Definitely, this can be done. It should have been part of your system, okay? Because deletes are almost never allowed, <laughs> okay? Because any time during at the system specification stage, since I am not writing any code, okay? If I give a wrong specification, I have actually written wrong code. Actually, okay. and which may cause chaos, okay, right? Because there is no testing. Mm -hmm. When you do something automatic, you know the fundamental thing is testing goes down. If I develop it manually, okay, I have got this one guy called Pravin. He will test it, and if he tests it, I am sure that it will work. Okay, but somehow he tests everything which I have not even asked for. Okay, when I do it like this, okay, there might not be any testing. There might be specification mistakes. So that is one. Okay, you have to be clear. Okay. Uh, you are saying you are allowing derived validation, correct? Uh, okay. Are you allowing derived validation uh, uh, on uh, a computed figure? Yes, we can do that. We can do that. On computed figure also, you can apply uh, validation. Definitely. So you are saying age less than fifteen, but age was a form field. Yes. Correct. Yes. Huh. Now, can I have a hidden form field called age? Mm -hmm. Take a form, a date of birth, k, and a computed field, mm -hmm. which is not age, but it is the date field minus today's date. Okay. Possible? Yes, huh. definitely. Now, can I say ki that the birth date mm -hmm. is valid if the computed hidden field, okay, is greater than fifteen? Yes, we can do that. Definitely, we can. Because that, that was not covered. Yeah, that All can right. be done. Okay. Now you had formula. Yes. Okay. Can I have a logical formula because this came up in one of the things? Okay. No. Current ah. currently we have implemented only the basic arithmetic no, no. formulas. These can be definitely be extended to include a logical and uh, relation formulas as. Well. No, no. no. Uh, that's not what I mean. Yes. Okay. I got four fields. Okay. Attendance in session one, session two, session three, session four. Correct. And I need a derived field. Okay. Where the person is present. and this is my logical rule if he has attended two out of four is it possible oh, yes i mean conceptually it can be done definitely does your current system allow it current system i don't think it would allow this kind of validation but it can because be i can add okay okay uh -huh. it can definitely be extended to that but uh, currently we just had to you know implement our concept over here like okay. we can implement that uh again it's the same question of errors suppose there is a database error how will your system behave database error i mean most probably we have included i mean the user interface is such that the database error will you know mostly not occur i mean i haven't faced any kind of database error so you are saying if i use your system yes. i cannot develop my own forms with with software correct is that what you are saying i have generated 10 forms using your system yes Okay, and I got another ten forms which is done by my buggy programmer. Okay, and he has managed to create a database error. How does your system react to it? If it is uh, developed through our system, uh, then they will. Is a database error means you are expecting one field to be there. It's a compulsory field. It's not there. Okay. Okay. The related field may be okay, uh, total balance, and the balance itself is not there. It is NaN, NaN. Mm -hmm. Which is not expected. You expect zero. Okay. Okay. How does your system react react to unexpected behavior for a for your related table? Your uh, table I can understand, but related table. Currently, we haven't you know uh, tested for those kinds of things. Okay. So we can't say. Otherwise, I think I think the concept is very nice. Okay. Yeah. I have no doubt about it. Okay. All right. Thank you.